The story starts in some unknown place where Michael DeSanta, Trevor Phillips, and some guy named Brad rob a bank. Why? Because they like it. During a showdown with the police, some guy named Brad gets shot and dies. Michael checks if some guy named Brad is actually dead or not, but he gets shot too and dies. After both of his friends die, Trevor vanishes, and the story ends. Actually no, because Michael is still alive. After eight years, Michael is now a wealthy, unemployed guy with a faithful wife, a son who is a Discord moderator, and a daughter. But they all hate him because he was a criminal. One day Michael sits alone and wonders whether video game emulation is morally wrong or right. And he just can't decide until two guys come up and ask him about an address so they could commit a crime. And Michael is like, it's around the corner, no big deal. Well, you must be wondering, who are these guys? Well, this guy is a cousin of CJ from San Andreas. Just kidding, because it's not true. This guy is Franklin Clinton, and this is Lamar Davis. They steal two expensive cars and give them to their boss, who gives them money. This is their daily lifestyle. But one day, Franklin gets a sudden urge to buy the Elden Ring Collector's Edition. But he's broke, so he goes to his boss, Simon, who gives him a job to fulfill. So Franklin goes inside a house and steals their car, but is surprised because the car is owned by Michael DeSanta, who was sleeping in the back seat somehow, and forces Franklin to drive him to his boss. And then Michael beats Simon up. After this, Michael feels that finally, his family will love him. But when he reaches his home, yeah, he catches his faithful wife in the middle of some unfaithful act. At the same time, Franklin arrives there to whack Michael because he is now unemployed. But somehow Franklin joins Michael to chase the tennis coach. Don't ask me why he did this. So they destroy the house. And Michael feels happy but surprised because that house is owned by some guy named Madrazo who is a big time mafia member. Now Michael has to pay money to this Mexican guy, but he doesn't have it, which makes zero freaking sense as he lives in a mansion, which is well wrong because he is still unemployed. Now Michael could have taken a McDonald's job and paid Madrazo in installments, but it will take about 74 years. Yes, I did the math. So he goes to his criminal friend Lester, who advises him that they should rob a jewelry store. Yeah, that's simple. So Michael and Lester plan the entire heist. They also involve Franklin so he can buy the Elden Ring Collector's Edition. They rob the store and succeed. Happy ending. Nope. Because this incident goes viral, so viral that even Trevor learns about it and gets angry because his friend is alive. Shouldn't he be happy though? Anyway, Trevor gets angry. So he kills another GTA protagonist, Johnny. He also kills Johnny's entire gang. He also kills a bunch more people, and then more people. Finally, he goes to Los Santos to meet his best friend, Michael. So he meets Michael and asks him, I thought you were dead. Death was greatly exaggerated. So they sort out their matter, and Trevor tells him that they should hang out sometimes. And by hang out, he meant rob banks and kill a bunch of people. Anyway, one day Michael gets a call from the FBI. Why? Because he was living off their expenses, and now they want him to return the favor. So this guy bonks Michael and asks him to infiltrate a morgue, which he does, but that was just the start of the shit show because the FBI then basically makes Michael, Trevor, and Franklin their B-word and asks them to do all kinds of crazy things. I'm talking about going underwater, climbing skyscrapers, destroying trains, and all the crazy stuff you can think of. But one day Trevor wonders that if Michael is alive, so must be Brad, and he decides he will bomb a prison to free some guy named Brad. But why does Trevor want to do this? Is he stupid? Yes. Michael tells him that makes no sense because some guy named Brad is dead. Trevor loses his shield after hearing this and goes to learn the truth. Trevor digs into Michael's alleged grave and sees some guy named Brad there, which makes him believe that Michael sold him, which makes him angry, and they point guns at each other, but nothing happens. They return to their criminal lifestyle and do more work for the FBI. Meanwhile, Michael reconciles with his family and his wife promises that she will try to be faithful. Maybe. And Michael also becomes a movie star and goes to Hollywood. I mean Hollywood. During all of this, the FBI approaches Franklin and gives him three choices. Either kill Franklin or Michael and get an 11 ring collector edition copy. But the game gives you a third option, which is to save both of them and screw the FBI and Elder Ring.